Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Smell the Mic S&P 500 Review for Friday, June 9th, 2023. It's now the 8th. We start off in the S&P 500 daily chart and to mark looking back to the end of 2021. I'll zoom into the current area now. The S&P 500 daily chart has printed the combo and sequential cell setup 9 and count. And that gave the cell TDST down here at 4151.28. So that's the new floor. NATM exhaustion alert was printed. And those are good indications of an impending downdraft. It just depends on how serious it is. I don't think it's going to be too serious. You can see this one only lasted one bar and then it was back to the races. Probably the same thing for this one. And the Bollinger Band upper band moved up towards the relative retracement up to and price continues to push the envelope so the Bollinger Band continues moving up and the channel 3 high is above the upper Stark Band it looks like price just about nailed the mid Stark Band which is a 9 simple moving average and it looks like price also absolutely nailed the ongoing supply line which for tomorrow will be at 4298.76 but it nailed it on the 8th so for the 9th price would need to open above this ongoing supply line and close above it to qualify it for end of day on the 9th. If it opens below it and then subsequently closes above it for end of day on the 9th and it will become disqualified and a possible fading opportunity in the opposite direction down and above it is the relative retracement is qualified up to at 4311.69 and that's just about absolutely dead even for the daily Bollinger Band upper band as we just saw at 4311.51 to the downside in the daily chart is the conversion line 9 EMA at that level get under there should be really good support at the lower Stark band and the channel 3 low the trend factor disqualified down 1 and the baseline all in the same vicinity and the new disqualified cell TDST level is protecting the propulsion 50% momentum down disqualified. Everything collapses tomorrow and get under this ongoing demand line at that level for a close end of day and that will become qualified. The CBOE total put call ratio charts KST is still making its torturous trek downwards as price in the S&P 500 is going upwards. Some fits and starts along the way, but the goal is to get to this solid red horizontal line which designates some of these lower valleys here, at least three of them. So let's see what happens when it hits that. 